Hello and welcome to episode seven. Today, we're going to be going over one of my favorite things in the world, and those are student case studies. This is one of my greatest joys as a commercial real estate coach, and that's why you can take and find somebody that has the desire, has the want to get to the next level, but just doesn't know how, and you watch them put their head down, do the work, believe in themselves, and get the success that they're looking for. So today, we're going to be talking about one of my students named Tyler. He came to me and did just that. He put his head down, he did the work, and saw fantastic results. Listen in, and I hope you enjoy. Chapter 7, Growing from Regular Commercial Agent to Rockstar Agent Case Studies. In this chapter, I want you to be able to see what's being done by agents just like you. Let's talk about one of my students, Tyler. Tyler started with me right around the holidays last year, and by the time January came around, he buckled down and decided to give it his all. He researched properties, the way I taught him, learned my scripts and conversational frameworks, and started dialing with them on February 1st. As of today, five weeks later, he has taken four exclusive listings worth over $5 million in 39 days. When he closes these listings, assuming he gets only 3%, which is half the fee, he'll be putting $150,000 in his pocket. And the best part is, he's only 26 years old. That young man has a very bright future ahead of him. Another student of mine named Sam earned his first commercial commission in the amount of about $40,000. I guided him through it. He studied, he went through the modules. Now he and his team have taken a handful of listings. Last conversation I had with him, he was waiting on a signature on a $1.8 million listing. If it sold, the total commission on that would be $108,000. I taught him how to locate buyers according to the last chapter's lessons. He'll be making a $54,000 commission if he represents just the seller. There's a complete area of my course where I teach you how do you can drastically improve the probability of getting a 6% fee instead of a 3% fee for your listing. In this case, $108,000 instead of $54,000. Like I mentioned, the only thing better than earning $1 for uh, a transaction is earning 2 for the same amount of work. Sam was willing to dig into the modules. He was willing to, to follow instructions, to, to reach out to the right people, reach out to get these listings. He's been in residential for over 25 years, and he really wanted to get started and get his feet wet in commercial. Now he's built a team, he's taken multiple listings, and I just spoke to him a few days ago, and the $1.8 million listing is actually under contract now. He got it signed two weeks ago, found someone in the first two weeks doing the things I showed him how, and he'll be closing it by mid-month. It's really awesome when you see someone take the information, implement the information, and have success. Albert came to me, and he had been in part-time and residential for a while. W once coming into the program, he decided to leave his regular job and pursue commercial full-time. In his first month of prospecting, he picked up two exclusive listings worth over $2 million. The opportunity is out there for anyone. You just need the right guide and the right plan. By the way, seven months later, Albert has 11 exclusive listings and he has two more on the way. He took three in one week. This is what's possible in a very short period of time. The only thing limiting you from, from the career that you want is how hard you're willing to work for it. When any residential agents come to my program and they've never sold commercial property before, I do what's called a 30-day Get Your Name Out There Challenge. That consists of telling everybody you know that you're in commercial real estate and reaching out to them through a very specific step-by-step -step process. It's something I've honed over the years because I've been helping people to get their first win under their belt as quickly as possible. One of our newest students just came in, executed everything, and had his first listing in 14 days. Another student of mine that implemented the Get Your Name Out There Challenge, he learned it in his first week coming into the course and just cashed a $62,000 check. He got 2.5% on a $2.5 million property, which is something that he helped somebody that was already in his sphere of influence uh, get under contract and then later close. How do you do that? You don't necessarily do it by cold calling, but rather by reaching out to the people who already know, like, and trust you, right? In Cheryl's case, for example, she took my 30-day challenge to get her name out there, and she was working really hard to assemble a land deal. She got involved with a couple of buyers, and when they found a piece of land, she helped them purchase it. Then, they were trying to buy the adjacent pieces of land. 
Guess what? There was one adjacent owner who was a holdout, and she helped these people buy, but what wound up being not one, but two pieces of land. Then they couldn't close on the third piece of land, so she got the listing to sell the two pieces of land. This is the way things multiply. She had two sales, I'm sorry, two purchases, and then she turned around and had two listings for sale. Think about reaching out to your database of past clients. Let's say you're an agent and you've been in the market for 10 years. Over that 10 year period, you're averaging between, let's say, 10 and 20 deals. Guess what? You already have between 150 and 200 previous clients. And they all have family and friends. What I do is show people who come into the program how to leverage those relationships and what conversations they need to be having in order to get the most out of people that already know, like, and trust them to do commercial business with them. You don't have to hop on a call and cold people cold call people necessarily. If you want to get started in commercial real estate, you just have to start closing deals you, with people you already know who will transact with you. The moral of the story is, for the next 30 days, if you just spent a few minutes a day reaching out to those past clients through your Facebook, LinkedIn, or mail campaign, and tell them that you are working on commercial transactions now, I guarantee you, you'll pick up at least one or two pieces of business at minimum. For a complimentary guide on how to leverage your network step-by-step uh, -step as a commercial broker, check out the link on my PDF saying Get Your Name Out There Challenge by going to www.crebasictraining.com slash leverage-your-network.